Hi, we're in we're in central Oakland talking to Rand Warren. Yes. Yes. Awesome. And Rand, tell me about yourself. You're I'm uh, a dentist. I, well, I, I don't you, well, I, judging from your teeth. Well, it's you know, I didn't do a good job going to myself right. actually. Yeah. And uh b- but most of my patients do much better. Well, that's what they say about the shoe, the the shoemaker's children going yeah. going shoeless. Yes. Yeah. But I'm I'm a holistic dentist, and uh-huh. I uh, I've been here for forty one years. Forty. Wow. In yeah. in Central Oakland. Yeah. Wow. Uh, right on Fifth Avenue. Uh huh. Matter of fact, we have the only grass and tree area on Fifth Avenue. Well, tell me about I guess the 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 teeth of Oakland. Tell me, yeah, well, how are people's teeth on it on well, average? They're they're pretty good. Yeah, especially if they come to my office, yeah. of course. Uh, and I have two partners that work real hard at that. But there are some people that smoke and eat too much sugar, right. And they don't floss and brush, and they sugar is is that bad for? Yeah, teeth? yeah, like Red Bull and uh, well, obviously Coke, obviously Coke like sugar. and Pepsi, they're the picks. I I I always figured I try to keep my diet just white thing like white sugar mainly. Oh man! Because I figured I want my teeth to be bright. No, white won't do it. White will rot your teeth and they'll end up like this. See, that's something they don't tell you. No, well you. I figure you, if I just you just eat, met me, so yeah. You know, now I know. Now you know. Do you yeah. Like my, my teeth are. You like my teeth? They're yeah. Good. No, they're very good. Okay. Very good. Should I floss? Your parents should get an award. Oh. I, well, they, I mean, they, they didn't really, they weren't really responsible for really? it. Really? I mean, they were, they were like, they, you know, they gave me a toothbrush and they said, you can use it if you want. Sort really? Like That's that. all? They're nonchalant. Well, it's really more about your uh, diet. Diet? Your diet. I really don't have a good, I mean, like, I floss, I floss, I think... That's the thing. Whenever I go to the dentist, they're always like, you got to floss. Yeah. And I well, do it. Well, the thing is, if you grew up in an area with fluoride in the water, your teeth get very hard. And yeah. that Oakland has had that for a is long time. Is it good time. or bad? That's very good. because You the want teeth, hard teeth. Yeah, you want strong, hard teeth. Oh. But a lot of people, even with that, if their diet is too high in sugar, mainly refined sugar, Mm. They're in trouble because I don't, things not good for me. De- deteriorate. I, I eat a but lot of, you're at an age where you're young. Yeah, you I eat, eat a lot of much. refined sugar, and then I think also what's bad is I I whiten I whiten the teeth sometimes. Often, yeah. not often, often, but you know, like once a week. That's how good we do a lot yeah. of that. Professionally whitening is even better. But it makes your teeth soft. A little. No, I feel like they it feel doesn't. Like all, all it does is put oxygen on your teeth. Really? Yeah, that's all. Oh, so it's very safe. Okay. To do that. But we do it professionally in our office, and it's it's really great. I mean, I've been, I've done Miss Pennsylvania. Yeah. And she won. Uh-huh. So I attribute that. And the smile is the biggest part of of someone. Well, yeah, your eyes and your teeth are the key. Yeah, eyes when are the I'm, window. You're looking at me right now. What are you looking at? Well, the, my teeth and your my teeth eyes. And your eyes. Your yeah, don't look eyes. at my hair because it used to be your color. So I think it's some... good. I tried. My hair used to be your color, actually. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, we should yeah, yeah. sometimes. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to get back to you, but I'm not, I'm not having good success. No. no. No matter what I do, it's getting grayer. Really? Yes. Well, I mean, well, how do you try? Do you do you diet? Or? Yeah. Well, I I try to eat well, and yeah. I try to take care of my body, and I exercise. And Maybe I, just eating black foods only. Well, whole, whole grain, grain and yeah, you know, oh. and vegetables. A plant based diet is very important. Is good for yeah. teeth and hair. Yeah. They're connected, actually, right? Teeth oh, and hair are sort of like similar. Yeah. As a matter of fact, if you have too much arsenic in your body, you can you can tell that by checking out your hair. Huh. And then also like other things like um, teeth and hair, like lutein, I think, or or something. I don't know. Well, there's all kinds of of things that come out in your hair. Yeah. Yeah. And if you do a hair analysis, which most doctors don't do because you don't get paid for that. No. It's better to push pills on people. See, I'm big on preventive dentistry and preventive medicine. Yeah. What you can do to take care of your own body. Most people... Don't do that. They would rather say that for the doctor to take fix care it. of them. Fix it. That's what we're. That's yeah. our culture. Is like that's our culture. Let it get bad, and then fix it. Put a bandaid on it instead of maybe yeah. just don't get. Maybe don't. Yeah, and most people watch TV ads and they buy the pills and stuff that's on television. Yeah. But By the way, do you notice how many denture adhesives are on TV? That's one hundred fifty thousand dollars and a minute. Oh yeah. And that's denture adhesives. So that means there's a lot of people walking around with no teeth. Yeah. 
Not in Oakland. Not not not, not everywhere. I, even here. Even here, but Oakland is young, yeah. so they have a lot of young people. Do you get young people coming into your office? Absolutely. Okay, and I but and, and overall, they have hard hard hard. No, teeth. I have a guy the other day who drank a lot of soda. Teeth like marshmallows. So. The sugar and the acid in this Red Bull and the Pepsi and the Coke and stuff. Yeah. Don't forget Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Yeah. What it just I... rotted away this guy's teeth. Yeah. It was great for me because yeah. I had a lot of work to do on him. But bad for his parents, they had a paper office. That's your predicament. That's yeah. really the, that's where the dentist's predicament, do you? Well, it's not my predicament. I do everything I can to make sure that people have their teeth and they look good all their life. But then you don't see him again. That's too bad. I, yeah. have, I have so many people that don't pay attention to what they're supposed to be doing yeah. that I got other people. Well, I mean, I, I that's why that's why I floss is because my I listen to my dentist. Good. Yeah. You're a wise young man. Thank you. And it feels nice. I think. Yeah. Well, well, a guy like you who's trying to pick up girls. Yeah. You don't want to have bad breath. No. That's so, why I'm really obsessed really, with And about women that. really don't want to have their breath because they smell better than men do. Do they? Yes. That, that's scientific, I'm sure. I, 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 I'm sure of this from yeah. my personal experience. From your personal experiences as a dentist, you can yes. tell me on the women, whole, women smell better. better smelling. And they do not want to have bad breath. So yeah. if you have teeth and a mouth that is not clean, yeah. this is a big issue. Yeah. Uh, so you need to have good oral hygiene, and you need to go to the dentist twice a year and do all the things that we recommend. Twice a year is the amount uh, that you're supposed to go? Yes. Okay. But and some people can get away with less, and some people have to go more. Yeah, that's what I heard. Someone's like, oh, if you just have perfect teeth, then you never have to go. But I'm like, no, that's not true. Yeah. You need cleanings also. Yeah. Yeah, twice a year cleanings? I had a guy today who's... Uh, I won't say. No, you don't have to say. HIPAA would require me not to say. But a very intelligent man. Yeah. But he just was nervous about going to the dentist. So so he didn't go, and he has gum disease, which affects your heart and your uh, blood, and it you know the germs in your mouth get all over your body. But why are people nervous? Why I don't understand that. Well, money is a big issue. That's one issue. But I mean, the main one is they. Maybe was or hurt or injured when they were a kid. Right. So they uh, they have this bad experience when they were younger, and and of course when you're six years old, it's a lot different than at your age or yeah. my age. But that they uh, have phobias. I've only had good experiences. Good. Well, I mean, I mean, overall, pretty good experiences. Like, I mean, um, well, sometimes they talk. Sometimes when I'm at the dentist. They'll start a conversation and and like their hands are in my mouth. Yeah. That's tough. That is bad. Not a, not a bad. Uh, you know. in my office, it is my favorite ex- person to talk about yeah. myself. Yeah. So I do have an issue with this. I'd love to hear. Yeah, no, I like hearing about other people. I'd be fine if the dentist is like puts the things in your mouth and then it's like just tells me stories. That's yeah. good. That's like that's what I would do here. I well, should do a dentist show where every day I, well, I we could we should talk about this a dental show every week. Yeah, yeah and then and dental then you and there's a big dental school pit which is right, yes, right here. Yes, it's in Oakland. Yeah, we should talk about Oakland a little bit. Uh, a little bit. Yeah, the dental we'll school is uh, very good. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It's I was a professor there in the old days for 25 years. Yeah. And now I do other things, but uh-huh. uh, we turned out. But I probably in the state of Pennsylvania, twenty five percent of all the dentists are from Pitt. Yeah, a lot, and that's a an lot. impressive. That's an impressive statistic. And yeah. they do. There's dentistry done there as well. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, for people that can't afford to go to a regular dentist. It's a lower uh, fees, but of course the work is done by students, so yeah. it's not as good as a dentist. But if that's all you can do, it's better than nothing. Yeah, and you can get your teeth cleaned up there really cheap too. Yeah, and overall, but, do you like you like uh, Oakland or or you do you want it to change or yeah, or both? well, I mean, everything. I'm gonna take this out. That's fine because I can't talk. I, I and I you, want people I to realize you were take, those were your real teeth. I thought, and no, I thought you were just they were also they're dentures. Not, they're Badly not. Made I dentures. made those. I made those. You actually. made those. Yes. From people's old I'm teeth. Fair, I have a lot of dental talents. I can go either way, good or bad. As a matter of fact, they did a movie with Tom Holtz here, and we did his teeth bad yeah. so he could look like, you know, not good in the movie. You use so, real teeth or fake? Do you have, like, a, like a, a supply of, of people's teeth? N- not 
people's teeth, but just artificial teeth. Artificial. And then we have a dental laboratory in our office, so we can fabricate out of ceramics just about anything. But Tom Holtz, who yeah. did the movie Dominic and Eugene, which was filmed here in Pittsburgh, we made his teeth look really bad. They do that a lot in movies. Yeah. Actually, it makes the movie more authentic. Huh. So it can go good or bad, either That's way. That's the one thing I noticed about movies, actually. I, I, honestly, when I watch a movie and I'm looking at people's teeth, and I'm like, they eh, didn't have that nice teeth. Like, you know, I'll be watching like, a, like a, maybe like a Western or maybe like an old movie, and I'll be like, they eh, didn't have nice teeth. And sometimes I forget about it. They get lazy. Like, yeah. I was watching Le Mis. They didn't have good teeth in the beginning of the movie. That was accurate. Then later in the movie, the teeth were like nice and white. Well, you can, well, you, like La Mis, you can tell a lot about that society because of the way that people didn't take care of their teeth. Yeah. So, uh, and in the United States, uh, you know, a couple hundred years ago, the men had perfume all the time because they stank yeah. so much yeah. from their mouth and their body and so forth. So it, 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 it means a lot. Uh, how a society takes care of their teeth and the better like in the world switzerland is very good that's a very high society uh, scandinavia very high dental care very high society mm. we're, we're pretty high but we're not the highest mm. i would say probably because of the diversity of our country we can't it's very expensive to take care of people's teeth you wouldn't know that because you really have good teeth but there are a lot of people a lot of people that have, have dental problems that just don't have the money to get it fixed and the government can't afford to pay for it or doesn't want to pay for it yeah well thank you for being on my show that's all the time we have um, okay because the, the camera shuts off but you were wonderful and i loved hearing about the, the teeth it was very interesting okay good yeah. thanks for having me cool thank you for being on all right